Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Forgiveness. Forgiveness at its core is a puzzle game. There are seven levels and each level has the same objective. You just have to escape the room that you find yourself in when you wake up. To do this, as you've probably already guessed, you're going to have to find clues that are scattered around the stage. The slightly more detailed way to describe Forgiveness is it's themed each of the rooms and each of the challenges based on the seven deadly sins. When you first start the game you hear a voice talking to you over some speakers. The voiceover tries to tell you that he's God and you are here to be punished. So you're not really given a lot of the backstory to your character. To do this you find little, little snippets, little clips here and there about what's actually going on in the overall story arc. The game sort of gives off that Saw vibe where it's you're here as a punishment and each room is a test of your intelligence and how much you want to escape. I found that setting really cool because it's there's a lot of games out there, there's a lot of puzzle games which basically centre around escaping a room. So it's nice to see that developers are putting a lot of effort in to entertain their audience. Now as far as the puzzles go and how the stages sort of progress in difficulty, as you can imagine it does get harder. Some of these rooms, the first time you play them, will keep you in there for at least 20-30 minutes. This game has a unique charm where it makes you feel like the most unintelligent person in the world, but when you complete the puzzle you feel like the most intelligent person in the world. There's a few of these levels that I got stuck on and I thought they were impossible. I was thinking that maybe there's a glitch or there's something missing, but when you look a little bit harder and you, you focus on what you have to do, it becomes kind of obvious, but at the same time, you, there is a lot of effort that has to go into cracking some of these puzzles. It's not just a case of finding an object here or there. At, at one point, I was actually making notes on a, a pad that I had at my desk. So it, it's not as straightforward as you may think. The graphics are a bit dated. There was a slight performance issue. Sometimes when I was walking forward or inspecting an object, my camera would shake annoyingly but it's nothing I would dwell on too much because overall I enjoyed my time playing this game and I am going to recommend it if you are here to know if it's worth a buy or not. I think it's priced well on the Steam storefront and if I was to pick any major criticism for this game I would say that the trailer that they have on the Steam storefront is it's garbage and it doesn't reflect their game in the in the light that they could do. If you haven't seen the trailer go and have a look at it Apart from that, this is a solid game. This is a really good game. So if you are a fan of the puzzle game genre, don't let this one slip you by. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to keep up to date with future content, make sure to like and subscribe.